Hey, what is up guys? My name is Jay and today we are going to continue our adventure uh, to sit Snow Point City. Uh, we are going to be tackling the gym today and hopefully we are able to defeat the gym. But before that, let's kind of show you uh, what I've been doing. So we have a fainted frozen. That is crazy. So um, let's actually go back to the focus center real quick. Because I did not realize that uh, one of our team members that I wanted to show you is dead. So let us heal up our Pokemon. And then let me show you what I have been up to. Thank you, Nurse Joy. We definitely need the heals. All right, let's go get out of here. All right. So let me show you my uh, Pokemon roster now. So we have caught in a new Pokemon. We have a little Snover and we named him Frozone. Let's uh, show you his stats. So he's pretty lonely by nature. So we decided to adopt him. And typically Snover is supposed to have a, uh, you know, the same special attack and attack. But for some reason, despite his attack being increased by his nature, his special attack is still beefier. Um, it's, I really don't like the fact that our defense is not good because that's kind of, you know, what I need. I'd rather have my tank, uh, be the speed, you know, but yeah, um, we have caught in a little snowver and it is a grass and ice type. So we basically have an ice and grass type coverage, but it is going to be extremely weak to fire a type being that we don't have, unfortunately. But yeah, our Frozone is level 35, our Crunch is now level 40, our Scrambles is 52, our MBC is level 48, our Mumble is level 50 with our Holy being level 48. And with this guys, we are going to be tackling Snow Point City Gym. And what we're going to do is actually, who should we have out? Um, we definitely want, let's bring Holy up to the front. I'm pretty sure his um, his fighting type attacks are going to do a lot of damage. And yeah, with that, our job is to essentially uh, figure out how to navigate this. Okay, so we're gonna try going this way. Nice. So we come here. Let's actually face this guy. All right. So we talk to him. I remember last time um, on our journey, we explored two of the three lakes. I believe that we explored Lake Valor and uh, Verdi. Uh, we couldn't explore the lake that was up here, unfortunately. So, hmm, what should we do? Should we switch out our Pokemon to Snowbird? It does have a grass type. Um, let's not. Let's not. Let's not take it. Let's not take the chance. Let's just use Slash. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, last time we tried going up to the lake up in uh, Snow Point City. However, we weren't able to get in there unless we have defeated the gym leader. Uh, I forgot what her name is. But yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Hopefully, within this uh, one recording, we are able to not only defeat the gym, but also um, take care of the lake situation so that... We could help out our friends, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so it's gonna send out a Sneasel. I wanna try sending out our Frozone because I really want to evolve into a Bomb of Snow because it's absolute beast. It is very weak, it's not as uh, strong as I once thought it is, but yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. I was actually thinking of catching a Roserade or a Roselia, excuse me, but the thing is, I can't get another Shiny Stone. Uh, you could, unless, you know, I wait until after the Poke League, which kind of sucks. Um, so, yeah, and I definitely don't want to go to the Poke League with a Roselia. So, I opted for an, an Ice-type Pokemon, and I, at first, I was thinking of having a Weasel, not a Weasel, a Sneasel on our team, but we already have a Dark-type, and, you know, I don't really want another dark typing. We definitely needed a grass though, something to cover our water attacks. 
So I was like, might as well go with a bomber snow. I've had a bomber snow before, but I don't use him frequently only because he's not that great of a Pokemon in my opinion. Like a bomber snow sh seems like he should be pretty bulky, but he's actually a special little snowflake. So yeah, I, it was a tough choice. I really wanted that Weavile, but uh, you know, we actually have a Frozone on our team, a uh, Snowbird. Okay, I'm gonna put Snowbird up in front. Uh, let's see what this does. Does this do anything? Absolutely nothing. I go up here. Let's challenge her. Mine as well. So yeah, I hope you guys been doing good. I'm definitely doing all right. Um, you know, I don't really exactly have a cushy job if you will but you know we're all working to get there my goal right now is just to accrue a bunch of experiences from a bunch of different places you know learn what i can from each of the places, and then just you know dip when i need to um of course i don't i'm not gonna be dipping you know very soon i want to dip when i uh, learned everything there is to possibly know about wherever it is that i'm working so Looks like that water pulse is not gonna do anything because we are a grass type too. And our Snover does no Shadow Ball, which is going to be a very strong stab move, which is going to be good. Yeah, so for an ice type gym, there sure isn't a lot of ice types that we've seen. We only see that Weavile or Sneasel, excuse me. It's been a while since I've played Pokemon, um, so I'm kind of forgetting all the names. But well, it looks like one more snowball should be able to take this uh, Pelipper out. And that Ice Beam is not going to do that much damage. Because actually it's going to do neutral damage. Because it's a Grass type and Grass is weak to... Grass is weak to Ice types. Oh my god. That is one tanky Pelipper. But it looks like we were able to defeat it with that Hail. Like coming in clutch. We love that. Our Crunch is growing in levels. We love seeing that too. I wonder when a Crunch is going to evolve actually. Alright, so it's gonna send out a Steelix, and here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna keep our uh, little buddy out, and then. Uh, I feel like it's gonna one shot us. Okay, we're gonna actually uh, switch out to Crunch, and then we're gonna bulldoze our way to victory. So come on out. As long as you don't have Ice Fang, we should be all Gucci. Yep, bulldoze. That is fine, that is not gonna do anything to us. Fine, it decreases speed, but I'm pretty sure we're still gonna be uh, blitzing this Steelix. Alright, so because we gave our crunch, I think it was a sandbag, our ground type move should be a little stronger, but that Steelix is tankier than our Goodbye is strong. Alright, so it looks like it's just a battle of bulldozing, so we could definitely take one more bulldoze. Dang, two speed nerfs, that's. That's actually crazy. Okay. Um, let us use Bulldoze again and hopefully we won't get uh, critted. If we do get critted, that will be very sad. Oh my gosh, this thing has an Ice Fang? You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be sh- Okay. Well, looks like our Frozone is going back into battle. Oh man, I really didn't want our Crunch to... Ah, that really sucks. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing else to do. Let's just use, um, let's use Ice Shard. Oh, wait, no, that's a physical type move. We should have not used Ice Shard. That was not the, oh my gosh. I'm actually doing so bad. I have to revive two of the Pokemon. Ah, this Steelix, I swear to God. And of course it dies. Man, we really needed XP from our Crunch and Frozone. Well, you know, I'm just gonna send out our scrambles. And I'm just gonna flamethrower this shit. Alright, come on. Gold. Are you really? What else gonna use flamethrower? You gotta be joshing, bro. Um. Let's just use Air Slash. Of course, they use a priority move. Yeah. That's fine. Our Togekiss is the only bulky defense type we got. All right, that's all right. At least our uh, holy grew a level, so. Heal pulls, what's a heal pulls? Um, so the target off to half. Now nah, we don't need heals. 
We don't need that. All right, Savannah. Wow, you are actually a tough nut to crack. All right, so let us. Uh, you know what? I kind of want to not use the revive. So what we're going to do is just take a little break from all that shenanigans and go to the Poké Center since it's right here. Heal up our Pokémon real quick. And then we are going to continue our adventure. Like, come on, let's just spam A. Boom, 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 boom. I wish there was a way that we could speed up this process. Like, it takes so long. Yeah, our, we just need to wait until our uh, Snover, um, our Frozone, and our Crunch evolves. And then after that, we should have a team that looks pretty menacing. <clears throat> okay, so how do you solve this ice thing? Do I have to go down here and break something? Of course I miss. Oh no, I go here and break the snowball. Nice. Okay, so let's try going up here maybe. Nope. Alright, so we use this and then we come down here, break that. That is nice. Okay, so let's go up here, go to here. Um, go up here and then break some more snow. Alright, so we are doing good. So let's kind of go back up here again. And then gonna do is go up here and then go like this like this uh, I guess we could face this trainer why not yeah let's just face this trainer we know all the XP we could get our Pokemon are not really that high of level so we need to do everything that we can to make sure mm. all right so it's gonna be a battle of Frozones that guy is going to be level 39, but we have a special ace up our sleeve that's called Shadow Ball. And that thing has Blizzard. God damn. Okay, we are definitely switching our Pokemon. Uh, we need someone who is strong. Our Mumble. Our Penguin. Our Emperor Penguin. Good thing ice types aren't really gonna do anything at all. What the heck? It's like it just predicted our move. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, let us use flash cannon and one shot the snowfer. Boom! Nice animation. Yep, I know you could do it too. Alrighty, so our mumble gained a level. Wow, the amount of XP that you get is really something else like i really thought we'd be getting somewhere in the high 900s if not a thousand but looks like that's just not the case oh okay so let's go up here go down okay let's break this and we go up and then we break that now how do we land on that spot um, okay, let's try going up here, and then going up here, and then going here, and then going down here, which did nothing. I think we just gotta go back to that spot that we were. Let's go up here, and then this time, let's try going down from this angle. Okay, now let's go up here, nice. Okay, so from here, I'm guessing we have to go to the side. Let's talk to this girl, and then let's challenge her, because why not? Okay, Snover. Oh, Sneasel. We could definitely take out Sneasels, no problem. Alright, come on, Frozen. Show her what you're made of. Besides eyes. I feel like we're gonna die again, so let's just switch out our Pokemon. Let us use. It's time for our Holy to come out. Yeah. I feel like at this point we're just switch training, which isn't something I really want to do, but at the same time, we desperately need XP on our Frozone because I really want that Obama Snow bad. And we got attracted. That's crazy. Holy fell in love. Holy Jesus. That's okay. I'm confident that our holy is gonna be able to drain the life force of that Sneasel. It's gonna be super duper effective. 
Mobilize my love. Come on, dude. We got no time for that. We need to attack. We got plans. We got business to do. We don't have time to fall in love. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Uh, all right, please. Let her drain punch attack. Oh my god, dude. Attract is actually kind of OP. That's crazy. We may be uh, immune to confusion, but we are definitely not immune to romance. Boys, am I right? Okay, come on. Drain punch this time, please. I, I beg you. We really need to hit. My guy. Let's go. Yes, get all that HP back that you lost. It's super effective. No, it's super duper effective. It's like four times. Nice. Sneasel had her energy drained. Now we gain some XP, which is nothing. Okay. Pentacruel? Okay, this is something that our frozen definitely should be able to handle. As long as we, we don't get one-shotted by like, I don't know, a poison jab, we should be fine. Um, but just to err on the side of caution, let us use one super potion. Let's just do that. And then hopefully that tentacruel like growls or something and doesn't attack or like put toxic spikes. I'll use bubble beam. Fuck, I take that any day, bro. Beam our ass. Mm, we love bubbles. I know it's not very effective. All right, the hail stopped. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna razor leaf this until it dies. Wait, I wonder if Shadow Ball would do more damage. Wait, that's ice beam, bro. It's gonna do nothing. That actually did a lot. That did a lot, lot. Dude, our razor leaf did like nothing. All right, let's try using Shadow Ball actually. Please just tank one more hit. Please. Oh, Jesus, that was so close. Okay, it is blatantly obvious to me that we are just not going to take that down. Um, let's use let's use our uh, mumble. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to take that tentacle down with our uh, frozen. Our frozen is just hella weak. Acid armor, now you don't attack? That's crazy. What does that do? Defense? She. We're gonna be attacking you with flash cannon. Defense don't matter. Boom! Yadi. Dang, it's not effective? I thought it was a poison type, so steel strike should be effective, no? Or is it just immune? I thought I. Okay, let's try surf then. Surf doesn't work, then we try Ice Beam. Nice. It's not effective, but we still did some good damage. Ooh, Frozen level 36. We love those. Alicia, you are a tough nut. But we are gonna heal up our Frozone because that's what we need to do. We're gonna use some super potion. We're gonna use another super potion because I love our Frozone. And okay, so from here, let's go up, let's go down, let's go this, let's go like this. Oh Jesus, what do we do from here? Go like this? Then go like this maybe? Oh, we just went full circle. What? How do we do this? Oh. Oh, dang. Um, okay. Maybe? Maybe? Okay. Oh, we haven't faced them yet? Okay, let's face this guy. Okay, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. All right, it's got one, ch one Pokemon. Shh. No problem. It's a Quagsire, dude. This is what our Frozone was made for. It's for that Razor Leaf. You know what I'm saying? As soon as we get Wood Hammer, we're gonna be flying off. But uh, the thing I don't like about Wood Hammer is that it is the recoil damage. I just don't like recoil damage. I'd much rather have energy ball than, um, what should we call it? Wood hammer. And plus, honestly, energy ball might be better for us because our frozone is actually more of a special attacker than a physical one. So, 
you know, who knows? Maybe we'll find an energy ball along the way. But you know, this game is it's made so that we have fun and I'm definitely enjoying my time. We defeated Isaiah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so from here, where are we going? Okay, definitely not that way. Up here, maybe? That's crazy. Okay, let's just go back up here and then no let's try going like this okay so we're back here we go like this and then what do we do do we go like this okay so we need a way oh there it is okay i think that was the last one yep that was definitely gonna be the last one i'm pretty sure we could go and challenge the gym dude so let's try it Okay, let us save because I don't want to die. Alright, and let's defeat this chick. Oh, it's Candace. Candy's not spinning your mouth. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing. I was waiting for someone tough. But I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance, it's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose these nuts. Okay. Enough of these nuts. Let us defeat Candace. She's gonna have three Pokemon. Oh, four Pokemon actually. Okay. So her first Pokemon, of course, is gonna be a Snover. She's gonna have a Snover, a Metachamp probably, a Bomb and a Snow for sure. Maybe a Sneasel. Yeah, probably Sneasel. Now I'm not basing this off my previous knowledge of Pokemon. I'm just doing this because I've watched the anime like a bajillion times. So, you know, I'm pretty familiar with that. Okay, so since it's going to send out a Snover, I'm going to switch out to our Mumble. Because I have no confidence at all that our Frozone is going to be able to take out any of our Pokemon. Avalanche, nice. Okay, so let us use Flash Cannon. And knock this guy out. Mm -hmm. Boom. Easy. Easy. Alright, so the next Pokemon probably might be a Weavile, maybe, or a Metacham. A oh, Sneasel, yeah, not Weavile, Sneasel, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we really are going to send our Holy, and then we are going to use Drain Punch because it's going to be super duper effective. You know, that quad weakness to fighting. So that's why it's super duper, not just super. Let us use Drain Punch. I'm pretty sure we are slower, really. I mean, Sneasel is fast, but damn, bruh. That's I. Right. That's okay. Drain Punch. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, I mean, that berry did nothing. I think that berry is supposed to, like, give it more HP. So it ate it. But it's still fainted. That's crazy. That's how super duper effective our Drain Punch was. Alright, so just send out that Metacham. We're gonna switch into our Scrambles. Ah, uh, see, I told you. Um, yeah, Scrambles. <sighs> Metacham, yep, we're going to use um, Air Slash. And then hopefully, we're gonna be able to. Destroy. Actually, let's just dazzling gleam. Let's see some razzle dazzle. Boom. Yeah. All right. So now we just got our bomb of snow left, and we are going to use flamethrower because that is the obvious choice. It's gonna be super duper effective. No, we're not gonna switch out. our scrambles are the best. I'm going to break the ice and bring out my last resort Pokemon. She sent out a bomb of snow. Look at that be. Beauty. See, that's the Pokemon that we want in our team. Unfortunately, we are not there yet, but we will be. Last flamethrower is gonna be super duper effective on Lamb Bomb of Snow, and your last resort is a piece of cake, which kind of sucks because we also have a Pokemon just like that, but it's even weaker. So, good luck to me. You defeated Gym Leader Candace. I must say, I've warmed up to you. I might even admire you a little. And we got some money for winning. Wow, you're great. You earned my respect. I think your focus and will bow bold. 
us over totally? I have no idea what that means. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to give you this. Ooh, that gym badge looking nice. We got a cleaner gym badge. You received the icicle badge from Candace. That icicle badge I just gave you. Because you have it, you can use a hidden move rock line from your pocket. Oh, and take these too. You obtained stickers that Candace uses. And TM72. What is it going to be? Is it avalanche? Yeah, that's what I thought. If the user takes damage, the power, the move's power is doubled. Can you imagine what sort of focus you will need to pull it off? I, I can't because I'm not going to be the one that's going to pull it off. But with that, guys, we have defeated the 7th gym. Let's just look at our trainer card real quick. Uh, how do you view badges? Let's view that badge. Oh, that is looking great. The other badges are looking kind of bad in terms of like cleanliness, but that is okay. So let's go to the Poké Center, heal up our Pokemon, and make our way to the third lake. Hey, what up, Nurse Joy? What's poppin', dog? Yeah, yeah, you can take a Pokemon for a few seconds. I'm gonna make sure you don't steal it, bro. Because we put a lot of time into this, bro. All right. I will most definitely see you again, Nurse Joy. Maybe not you, but a different one. So with that, let us make our way to... I'm kind of curious what this house does. It's going to give us an item. I hope it gives us an item. All right. Oh, a torch. Hey. A minute chance for a hunter, but hell no. Nah, bro, I want that torch trick. If, dude, I would totally like just trade out one of my Pokemon for a torch trick because a Blaziken is no joke. Um, where do we have to go? We have to, we need to go to that lake thingy, Majiggeries. Pretty sure the lake is up here somewhere. No, nope, it's gonna be up there. Where's the lake? Oh, okay, here's the lake. All right, so let us go to the lake and let's see how Barry or Elias is handling. Ah, you're not getting away with this Team Galactic. Oh, oh, you finished already. Your Pokemon are bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake and become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But ew, it's so cold here. Let's go back to the Veilstone HQ. I'm guessing Elias lost. Come on, dude. Oh, I don't know you. We don't I know you? We met in Eternal City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining while poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our A2 in Veilstone City. Now if you'll excuse me. So it looks like Veilstone City is where we need to go. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Yuxi. It was suffering. I'm going to get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. Um, to be honest, like, I mean, if you were really strong, then you could, uh, you know, win. But that's not the case for you. All right, so let us go into the cave. I just want to kind of explore. Maybe there's a Pokeball there for our grabbing. No Pokeball, no anything. And really, that sucks a lot. I kind of wish uh, we had a Pokeball, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so let us go into the waters. Boom. Yaddy. All right, so actually, no, we, ah, damn it. If it was a shiny side lug, I would've been happy, but it's not, so I'm gonna kill it. I'm actually gonna kill it. Let's just basically. Snow warning. It's start to hail. Great. Ooh, actually with this, we might actually grow up to level 37. That's kind of broken. A critical hit for that one at the gym. Oh wow, it gives us so little XP that it can even, damn, that's crazy. Okay, so let's use our poke edge and we are going to fly out of here to Veilstone City so that we could explore the uh, Galactic HQ. Um, okay, so let's do this thing. Originally, I would probably would have liked to separate this into a separate video. Um, but it's only been like 30 minutes. 
You know what? Yeah, let's let us just call it here for today. I know it's gonna be a shorter video, um, but yeah, I kind of feel like the next one, the next task we have to do, it's gonna take a while. Yeah, so um, I'm just gonna stop here for today, and then next time we are going to explore the Team Galactic HQ in Veilstone City. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please just leave a like and let me know what you guys want to see next. Alrighty, take care guys. Bye.